Hi everyone, this side Arohi from Piper Technologies, IT Park Mohali. So in my today's class, I'll discuss about supervised learning. See, in supervised learning, model learn from the labeled data and based on that learning, it help us to predict the output for new unseen data. So in simple words, we can say that we are providing input as well as output means answers to our model. So supervised learning is of two types, classification and regression. The classification is the process of predicting the class of given data, means predicting the category, predicting the label of given data. And regression is, regression is when we want to work on numbers. So classification algorithm, here I am discussing a, a basic example on classification. See the first thing is, first example is, is it rainy outside? And the answer is yes or no means there could be no other answer the answer could be either yes or no right and the second question is will you go to work today and the possible answers are yes no or maybe in class we in classification we have fixed output classes and there is no other answer which can come which can come up uh, you know which can come up after um, instead of those three or uh, two those uh, fixed answers so this is what classification is and if i talk about regression so regression as i've told you we work on numbers whenever we want to work on numbers so over here the example is how much would be the price of the house and we want to predict the price of the house on the basis of we have data and in that data we know the small house price is $70,000 and the big house price is $160,000. On the basis of this data we want to predict the size of this middle size house. So this belongs to regression problems. So there are some other examples also which belongs to regression as for example we want to know how many scores will particular player score on the basis of his previous record how many scores again we are talking about numbers so this can be uh, you know figure out with the help of regression algorithm and suppose if we say like uh, what would be the temperature tomorrow what would be the temperature temperature again as a numeric output so this again belongs to regression so predicting salary of a person on the basis of experience this is again another example predicting salary of a person on the basis on the basis of experience now now let's discuss about dependent and independent variables now what is dependent and independent variable see let's see this data set so first of all uh, let me tell you like uh, the, in this data set we have two columns one is year of experience and other one is salary means on the basis of years of experience we want to predict the salary so we want to predict the salary and salary is in numbers so this is a regression problem and independent variable and dependent variable independent variable is a variable on the basis of which we want to predict the output and this output column is dependent on this particular column so that's why this column is called dependent variable now let's see this data set and try to know whether this uh, data set belongs to classification or regression so we have columns with the name of age income region credit rating and by mobile so what this is a classification problem how because we want to predict whether the person will purchase a mobile or will not purchase a boy, uh, mobile right and age income region and credit rating these four column these four features are independent variable why these are independent variable because on the basis of these four columns we want to predict the price of mobile and this buy mobile column is a dependent variable because this yes or no class it depends upon the values of these features now let's move forward to the next example over here let's see like now this data set belongs to again regression problem why 
because on the basis of area we want to predict the price of a house area square foot when area square foot is 2000 then price is this when area square foot is 1600 then price is this so this is again a numeric term right so this is a problem of regression again now let's see this data set over here, we have columns, serial number, GRE score, TOEFL score, university, SOP, LOR, CGPA, research, and chance of admission. So, this data set, in this data set, what we are trying to predict is, we are trying to predict the chance of admission. And chance of admission is in numbers. So, this is a regression problem. This chance of admission is a dependent variable and it is dependent on what? It is dependent upon these independent features. So this is a regression problem. Let's go or move forward for another problem. So in this data set, we have outcome column. In outcome column, we have output either 1 or 0. 1 or 0 means on the basis of these features, we want to predict that particular person is diabetic or not diabetic. So, on the basis of pregnancies, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI and these two features, these are independent features and basis on these features, we want to tell whether the person is diabetic or not. So, again, this is a problem of classification because we have two fixed classes and output will be one of them. So, these are few examples of supervised learning. I have explained you, I have shown you examples of regression and classification problems. And these are algorithms, few algorithms which comes under classification. Logistic regression. Logistic regression simply means it will, whenever you have a data set where you have only two classes, 0 or 1, high or you know, low, true or false, then you can use logistic regression. In the same way, we have other algorithms like k-nearest neighbor, nave based algorithm, decision tree classifier, random forest classifier. These are few algorithms which comes under classification. And regression algorithms. So linear regression, polynomial regression, support vector machine, decision tree regressor and random forest regressor. These are few examples of regression algorithms. So in my next class, we will, uh, you know, practically work on different algorithms. For today's class, thank you.